Check out a freestyle I just dropped on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You got another day to be great. You woke up, so that means that you have another day to be great. Yes, sir. <laughs> so look, J. Cole, all right, J. Cole finally, you know what I'm saying, finally responded. You know, I was scrolling through my Instagram. I seen that said, I woke up this morning, I said, hold on. I said, who this? J. Cole. Jermaine. I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. B came on, I said, yeah, 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 it's time for, it's time to, we got to react to this. You know what I'm saying? So from what I read, he, he's reacted to the beef. Um, he, he's addressing the beef. He's addressing comments and concerns from other people. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Some people online talking about some oh he must have some <coughs> serious skeleton in his closet if he wants to come out and make peace with drake and you know what i'm saying and, and he's taking this side with drake and he's not really on kendrick's side as much blah blah blah, blah. Like, i'm like bro it's j cole we're talking about what in the world would his skeleton be he was fucking bitches like seriously seriously he was fucking bitches can either of them talk? Can either of the two gentlemen talk? What would they say about Cole? What would they say that they can't that can't be dug up about them? Heck, they both admitted to, yo, we be smashing, we be smashing these women. Kendrick on Mr. Morale and Big Steppers and Drake on every freaking song possible. We know all Drake's relationship because he pins it in the music. So, come on, let's get real. Let's get real. I seen good, I seen bad, had my melanin mic. I seen lifelong friends turn to devilish ox. I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell them to stop. You better beat it for you see the heavy metal get popped. Yeah. It's a mean ass way with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft king, he gonna bet on the block. He wanna <laughs> Draft King, man, hold on, hold on, that's a bar, what? I was Mike and Red Leather trying to tell him to stop. You better beat it for you see the heavy metal get popped. He was a mean ass way with a hell of a shot. But if no team draft King, he gonna bet on the block. He want a bar till he fall into the fellow's And sit his ass on the bitch for moving careless with rap. You can't relate unless your father was not a... We're a minute and 40 seconds in. I'm going to say this straight up. J. Cole is the best pound for pound rapper. Like, just bars. Like, just bars. Just bars. Pound for pound. I'm a Drake Stan account at times. I could be a Drake Stan account at times. You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge fan. 
I'm also a fan of Kendrick. I'm not an idiot. That nigga can rap. There's a reason why those three people have been at the top of the game for so long. All right. However, J. Cole's trajectory and 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 how he's gotten better is ridiculous. He just continues to get better. The thing with Drake is Drake has improved. However, he does so much and he tries to improve on so many other things that he has not improved as much rapping wise because he's like mastering all these other skills, right? Like he has like all these other intangible skills like this singing and going into reggae and going in the dance hall and going into this and going into that. Like he's just, he's just, he's literally just on like this world quest. Meanwhile, J. Cole is like, I'm just finna be the best rapper. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick's trying to wake up the environment and wake up the people and tell you about yourself and your culture and identity and all this other shit. Meanwhile, J. Cole is just a rapper. Like, he's just a rapper. And that is one thing that I could say, discography-wise, rapping improvement, Drake, I mean, not J. Cole, has had the most improvement ever. Whatever the fuck happened during COVID to this nigga is he came out the best rapper up like bar for bar, bar for bar. I would look, dude, every song that J. Cole is on, he's the best rapper on it. He's the best rapper on it. Period dot. Period dot. There's no way on any record Kendrick will outrap this nigga. It's not happening. Drake, we've already got the records. J. Cole be firing the fuck off. He's still He's still the top. Bar for bar. Bar for bar. We're not talking about making songs. We're just talking about pure rapping. That shouldn't be a debate. Whether you like him because he walked away from the beef or not, we're talking about rapping. Rapping. J. Cole's the best. J. Cole's the best. He's the best. Okay? He's the best. And your mother nigga just said to find versus he, he he's saying basically it feels it's like he reverses time like he's getting younger benjamin button you know what i'm saying he's aging in reverse which i will agree that's what i was just saying earlier then he's like to find versus like mine you got to search primes he's talking about searching people's prime like their peak and he's not lying every verse has been fire he has not missed he has not missed. Yes, there was that one, that one weird ass song, but I think he was he just did it for suit sis and giggles. Like that one song aside, because he wasn't even really rapping like that on it. 
He was kind of like doing a more little sing thing. So, fuck it. Throw that to the side. Everything else, this nigga ain't missed. Ain't missed. Somebody, somebody tell me a J. Cole verse outside of that one dumbass song where he missed. Tell me one. Tell me one. If you could tell me one and be right, I'll give you $50. I'll cash up you. I'll cash up you $50. Straight up. I'll cash up you. When that peace comes to my curse mind, one thing's for sure that I've matured from my first rhyme. I learned long ago you can't please them all in the first trying. Yep. In this game where all you've got is your name like dirt. I'm smirking at niggas trying to be smirch mine. Absurd times Ooh. where the fate get told it is wise. I can see hate in both of your eyes, but the third's blind. So you search lines, but you struggle, which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces the word finds. <sighs> Shit. Shit, these lyrics gotta be up on genius. These lyrics gotta be up on genius. Oh wait, hold on. Y'all y'all give me, y'all give me, y'all give me a second, bro. I need to read that back to y'all. Cause this this nigga went off. He went off. He went off, man. So listen. So listen, check this out, check this out, check this out. This is what bruh said. He said, absurd times where the fake get toted as wise. So fake people getting toted as wise. I can see hate in both of your eyes, but the third's blind. That means you're awakened eye. You know what I'm saying? You're not as woke as you think you are. You know what I'm saying? You're not as like intellectual as you think you are. And granted, it's the truth. Okay, a lot of you niggas is dumb. That's just straight up. A lot of people, y'all are dumb. Okay? You failed classes not because you not because you're worth anything, but because you were dumb. That's the truth. That's the truth. I, I didn't listen to y'all in grade school. Why would I start listening to y'all now? You know what I mean? Uh you search so you search lines, like because you gotta search them, like Google or whatever, but you struggle which explains the puzzled look on the dull faces as the words find. So y'all don't even get it. Y'all like, man, he ain't even really saying nothing. That's because you dumb and you don't understand nothing. Most of the reactions I've seen to this is because people are dumb. They don't read. They don't know how to do reading comprehension. They don't know how that you need to read the, the line before it, the line during and a couple lines after so you can make sure you have the full context of the line. I'm going to keep this up on my phone. Let's keep going because this is where he gets in his bag. I hate when raps become, but like do not disturb signs. Cannot get it if I see it's about to go. They instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But saying stop the violence tools with dudes in hospitals. I pulled the plug because I've seen what happened. See, see, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is, I hate what raps become, but like do not disturb signs. Can't knock it if it, if I see it's about the dough. So he's saying a lot of people are rapping crazy stuff just so they can get money. You know what I'm saying? Like the thugging, the, the gangster shit, like they're, they're rapping what they got to rap. Girls rapping about the, the shaking ass and all that shit just because it, it's what sells. You know what I'm saying? They got to do it because they, they got to make money, right? Right. Now, um, I, I, I disagree with it. Like, if you were better, you wouldn't have to do that. But that's neither here nor there. Um, they instigate the fuckery because it's profitable. But singing Stop the Violence tunes when dudes in hospitals. We ain't never learned. How many more bodies got to get put in the morgue? How many more bodies got to get put in the ground for us to address this issue in hip hop? The heavy gangster shit ain't really good. It's not good for us. People are dying over it. Like ridiculous. I just, man, I watched a dude get ran up on and like murked, like literal murk broad day on cam. In a community in front of kids. Like, 
the majority of black people are suffering from PTSD. <clears throat> All right, now this is this is everybody. I need y'all to pay attention now. You got to pay attention now because this this is where this is where he's gonna get into it. He's gonna get into the beat. I'm about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I would have lost a battle dog, I would have lost the pro. I would have gained a foe. And all for what? Just to attain some old cops from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for. So look. So look. He said, I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. So he's talking about between Drake and Kendrick. He said, um, this is going to a place that I don't want it to go. Everybody is egging us on, wanting us to destroy each other. <clears throat> I'm not that person. I'm not that type of guy. I have something that I want to stand for that's bigger than what y'all want me to do. So therefore, I'm going to back out of this. Right? I'm going to back out of this because that's not who I am. All right? Then he said they wanted blood, the people. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow, the media. They see the fire, this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. So they think peop, people, everybody, even now, they keep thinking that J. Cole has bowed out because he, he didn't want smoke or whatever. I jokingly said that, but I, I, I've always reaffirmed the fact that J. Cole could have competed and could have, and he could have, he could have went at, he could have went after them. He could have, he could have, it would have been beautiful. Um, but I would have lost a, I wouldn't have lost a battle dog. I would have lost a bro. That's talking about Kendrick because granted, he wasn't taking shots at Drake. He was taking shots at Kendrick, but he's like, Kendrick is his bro and he fucks with dude. So he didn't want to, he didn't want to, um, he didn't want to do that. And he said, I would have gained a foe and all for what? Just to attain some mo? Props from strangers. Attain some mo. So attain some mo, it's a double. So gaining Kendrick as a foe would have gained more foes because there's people that's riding with, uh, with uh, Kendrick. So he would have gained foes on that end and he would have uh, gained a foe in his bro as well. Then he says, mo... Props from strangers, us, that don't got a clue what he's been aiming for. That's how that bar scheme works. That's how that bar scheme works. All right? That's how it works. Uh, back up just a little bit because he's still getting in his bag. The pro, I would have gained a foe. And all for what? Just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14. Jermaine is no king, if that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media. Competing for your favorable means to be considered best and living rest. The weight of both things. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protect their legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends. When the war I walked away with all they blood on me Now some will discredit me Try wipe away my pedigree But please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredible mm. Nasty work Nasty work So look Now look We've established This This is why this is important This is why this is important Reading comprehension The previous bars He was just talking to Kendrick Okay, morons. He was just talking to Kendrick. He then says, since the age of 14, Jermaine is no king. If that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team. So you got to pay this whole team of people to go dig up dirt and all that. He don't want to do that. He said, and pay the whole team. And it's paying the team to get dig up, uh, dig up dirt. But it's also pay the whole team of algorithm bots, niggas, just to sway the whole thing. Now, now people are like, "Oh, well, Drake, Drake was definitely using about Drake for do about." No, 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 no. I watched it in real time. Kendrick was using bots. Kendrick, as a YouTube nigga, I've I've been on here for like four or five years. I know how the algorithm works. I know how audiences work. I know how people work. It's bots. It's bots. 
Family Matters. All right. Family and Family Matters is the main one where you can see this at, right? You can see this at. Because the thing is, people liked the response, but were disliking it, which made no sense. People were like, yo, he's really rapping on there. Like that like think about this. Think about this. Yo, he's really rapping. He's really rapping. He's really rapping. Right? Let me let me pick myself back up. He's really rapping. Like, oh yeah, he went after da 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 da. Like everybody's conversating about how his bars at weekend and Rick Ross and Ace of Rocky. Like, people are liking the verse. Whether you think it's true or not, that's a whole nother thing. But people are liking the verse. Well, verse is. The people that were going to like it, liked it. And if nobody had anything particularly negative experience from the song, excuse me, why would they dislike it? It's a good response. It is a good response record. It is. Flat out. In hip-hop history, it will go down as a great response record. Same with Euphoria. It's a great response record. Why would Family Matters have mass dislikes? Mass. Mass. The percentage. Look, when you make a video, right? When you make a video, the number of people that are actually going to like or dislike a video is somewhere around 10 to 25% of people. Most people are just going to watch it and not do shit. And even less people are going to actually comment. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a hard fact. The Here's where things got weird to me. You have all these comments, right? But you have this mass amount of dislikes. And the number of dislikes was ill proportionate to the amount of people that have actually watched the video. It did not match the trends. Didn't match at all. You didn't see that with Euphoria. You didn't see that with push-ups. The only time you saw it again was with the heart part six. And people forget these things, but I always take note. And if you go back to my previous videos of me talking about it, I mention it because it's not right. It don't make sense. Those are bots. That's bots. And then while I was on Twitter during the beef, during Family Matters, there was people and there was pages that was like, oh, do you know what I'm saying? Ragging on Drake, you know what I'm saying? And at first, they didn't have no momentum. They had no motion whatsoever. They had no motion whatsoever, right? You have regular people going, oh, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, meet the grams, you know what I'm saying? It was good. Whoop, 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 whoop. The conversation was very hip hop oriented. It was good. Then you watch it devolve straight into. Man, it's over for Drake, da 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 it's over for Drake. But the where the over for Drake thing started, like, was just bots. It was just bots. Like, it was just bots. It's a bunch of accounts that aren't real. They aren't real. They hadn't even been real accounts for a long time. They hadn't. But nobody was digging into those accounts. Like, they had heavy amounts of retweets and likes. But nobody was digging into those accounts. Any time... Anytime a really small account that just got made in the last three months all of a sudden has hella likes and dislikes. I mean, hella likes and retweets. Okay? Hella likes and retweets and still doesn't grow in followers. And then all of a sudden ain't said shit since the beef. It's a bot. It's a bot. It's a bot. Straight up, it's a bot. It has no normal engagement with people. No normal engagement with people at all, whatsoever. All right? It's just a fact. It's just a fact. Argue with your mother. It's just a fact. So listen, um, you know, for, and, and anyway, bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media competing for your for your favorable means to be considered the best alive 
and and uh, man, hold on, I'm I'm gonna let him say it because these these words aren't right on the page. They ain't work. They ain't right. They ain't right. They ain't right. I would have lost the pro, I would have gained a foe, and all for what, just to attain some old props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for since the age of 14, Jermaine is no king, if that means I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing on social media, competing for your favorable means to be considered best to live and rest, the weight of both things. Be considered the best and live and rest the weight of both things so who was trying to be considered the best who, who's been saying the crown is heavy this whole time Kendrick he's still talking to Kendrick now this next line I he then says I understand <clears throat> the thirst of being first that made them both swing Protecting leg, you know, I'm going to just let him say it. I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing, protecting legacies. So lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war, I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me, try to wipe away my pedigree, but please find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Find a nigga out that's rapping this incredibly. Ain't nobody rapping like him. That's a fact. That's a hard fact. Ain't nobody rapping like him. Now... Once he got to the, I understand the thirst of being first that made them both swing because Drake's only like main competitor that wanted to be first was Kendrick. Was Kendrick, because Kendrick's over there saying, big me, it's just big me, nigga, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like that, the line that made y'all go crazy. Um, with that being said, now he's back talking about both of them, respectively. He's now back talking about both of them. At this point, he's talking about both of them. And watch what he does here. He goes both, 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 both. And then he's going to transition to talking to Drake. He's going to just, he's going to transition to talking to Drake. Watch it. Watch it. This is, this is a, a lesson in reading comprehension. Uh, my dog texted me, I shared the words he said to me If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly uh, I guess in that metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me I texted back like, guess the gun ain't what I'm trying to be, my nigga They stripped me of my spot and now I'm finally free, free my, my nigga. nigga They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie on me, my nigga To start another war, and Drake, you'll always be my nigga I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my nigga Fuck all the narratives Tapping back into your magic pen is what's imperative Remind it Facts. Facts. And did you see how that went? Did you see how that went? <clears throat> he says, My dog texts me. I'll share the words he said to me. If you refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Deadly. He said deadly, but because he's making it rhyme with hypothetically. But anyway, deadly, right? I guess in that metaphor, the gun is me. So the gun was him pointed at Kendrick. This is, that's still all the, Ken, that's still mostly all the Kendrick. And then he says, they stripped me on my spot and now I'm finally free, my nigga. Like, okay, fine. I ain't the best. I ain't in the top three no more. Like he been seeing y'all dumbass conversation. He's still top three. There's nobody. There's nobody to replace Cole on the mountaintop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The three of them, their discography is unheard of, bro. There's legends that wish they had this level of discography. There's some legends, I don't even know how they're legends anymore. These niggas have shown and improved, like, proved that they, they rapping different. They moving different and giving you hits. Come on, what? And then, uh, and when I say that, I'm talking about Kendrick, Drake, and J. Cole. All right? They say I'm picking sides. Hey, don't you lie on me, my nigga. Like, he ain't picked no, He just dropped out. He just dropped out. He fell back. Fell back to where? I don't know. He went home to his wife and kids. <laughs> he went home. He said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. And then, then 
start another war. Hey, Drake, you'll always be my nigga. So now he's talking to Drake. <clears throat> I'm not ashamed to say that you did a lot for me, my nigga. Fuck all the narratives. Tapping back into your magic pen is imperative. I I I ain't I ain't got to I ain't I ain't reading the rest of it. We just gonna let I'm just gonna let J Cole rap now, cause now we got it broken down for the dummies in the back. Hey, my nigga. J. Cole different, bro. He different, bro. He ain't have to do this. He ain't have to do this. He didn't have to. He ain't have to say nothing. He could have just kept it to himself, but he wanted to. He wanted to let he wanted to let, you know what I'm saying, let us know how he really felt. He wanted to let Drake know how he really felt. You know? And all these people are saying, oh, he he's against Drake, he's against Drake, he's against Drake. He's not. He's not. Excuse me. He's not. He just wants to continue to make good music. And that's why he works with ASAP Rocky. That's why he just wants to continue having his neutral position. You know what I'm saying? And still keep his friends. I don't think that's crazy to ask for. I I, I want to keep my friendship that I have with you because we grown. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I want to be able to work with these people and you to understand that I'm not. I'm not on that type of time with you. And Drake's the only person that said by name. He's the only one. So you know explicitly what's to Drake. Explicitly. The rest is inferred. But we know what was going on. Kendrick was using bots. Joe Budden even came out on his show and was saying... He was using bots. Everybody could see it. Academics seen it. Anybody that's in music that knows how this game go, knows it, bro. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Like, just bias aside, bro. If this was Drake that had used bots, I would have said something. But the thing is, Drake had the bigger fan base. Then Kendrick. It shows in the numbers. Flat out. It shows in the numbers. <clears throat> okay. That's a bigger fan base. Therefore, it could easily, the narrative could go easily in Drake's favor. Therefore, of course, you would use whatever means necessary to win the war. All's fair in love and war. I'm not even mad at it. I'm not mad that he used bots. But at the same time, for y'all to deny that he used bots to, for y'all to deny, Act like there's a whole army of people that feel like y'all. It's not. It's not. There's not. There's not. There's a. There's a good. There's a good piece of audience. But even those people don't have the same strong opinions that you have. They don't. They don't. I'm gonna say it again one more time before I get up out of here. Kendrick did use bots, and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He won. But the only thing here is he didn't fully kill the man. Therefore, he can't write history in his favor. When people are looking back at it and people are writing it down in the history books, if you don't fully destroy your opposition, they still get an input on how history is written. <clears throat> And that's somewhere in the 48 Laws of Power. Y'all can go look that up. That's somewhere in military strategy and war strategy. You can look that up. Um, but anyway, I'm up out of here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace.